Hi folks, it's Trevor Lewis again from the Voyager Steam Lab. Um, today this is a video for students about how to install the Google Classroom app on an Android phone. Um, the reason I'm doing this specific video is it's got a couple of tricky steps to it um, and recent, up until recently it wasn't working at all. Uh, big shout out to the technology department and to the person who I didn't ask if I could use their name in the video so you know who you are. Um, but this is a lot easier on an iPhone, so I'm not going to make a video for that. You know, just download it in the App Store, make sure you connect with your school account, and then you're done. But with an Android, it's a little more complicated because all the Google accounts are integrated in with the phone a little bit more. So I'm going to take you through step by step. Let's switch over, and we'll do, um, you'll see what it looks like on the actual phone. So we're starting off with a, um, Pixel 2 running Android 10 and we're going to start off by going to the settings. Um, so when we click on the settings we're going to go into the accounts and in accounts uh, you're going to go down and press add an account and you're going to choose a Google account and then it's going to want you to you know use your fingerprint scanner or something to, to say that you're you. We're using our school account so we got our ID number at muckleteo.wednet.edu that's what we're typing um, and once we get that all typed in we are going to type in our password as well we'll skip that part and then you press I agree to these terms of service you can read those terms of service of course and what's happening right now is it's setting up a work profile so a work profile on an Android phone is a little bit weird um, the way a work profile works is you get um, a whole separate like phone within your phone that has work apps um, and that can be managed by your organization. Um, Muckleteo School District doesn't do a whole lot with this. Uh, there's not a whole lot of approved apps. So uh, that's what the, the hang up was, is we had to get approved in the Google Classroom app. But what this will allow you to do is it'll allow you to get notifications on your phone which means that when a teacher posts a private comment you can have them um, and you can see I'm just waiting here and then registering this profile this took a really long time I actually paused the video here um, but the, when the teacher puts a private comment up or returns a file it'll ping your phone since you don't have an email address uh, this is a really great way for you to communicate back and forth with your teacher because uh, teachers get notifications in their email and if the teacher has the app the teacher gets a notification on their app but um, you don't always know that those are there, which is why I have you in my check feedback video. I show you how to go in and actually check and see if there's been feedback left for you. But this is a little more effective. So now that it's installed, we're going to go to the Google Play Store. But you have to switch. By clicking the little circle up in the top, you're going to switch to your work profile. When we switch to the work profile, you see the circle on the top is different. And you can see there's only a few apps. So then we're going to install Google Classroom using the work profile. That's the tricky part is I first got to do the get get the work profile set up and then install Google Classroom because if I do that in that order what will happen is Google Classroom will actually be a work app when I go to my home screen you'll be able to see there is a little uh, icon on there that lets you know it's a work version and then you're just going to select your student account when you press get started and it should take you in and you should have all your classes that are already set up in Google Classroom. So that's how you set up Google Classroom on an Android phone. 